Welcome to Topic A, everyone. I'm your host, Gary Perna. This week on Topic A, we have an announcement from Councilman Keith Bass. His big announcement, well, it may shock you, it may not. We'll find out what it is coming up on Topic A only on WYLN. All Care Home Care the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. The Beer Garage, 202 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. More than just beer, coffee, all sizes, only $1. Get your lottery tickets here, too. Stop in today, The Beer Garage in Hazleton. Watch our rebroadcast of the Wilkes-Barre St. Patrick's Day Parade, only on WYLN-TV 35 at the following times. Back to Topic A, everyone. I'm joined by Keith Bass, Councilman in the City of Hazleton. And Keith, um, first of all, welcome to Topic A. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Gary. Well, I'm glad to be here. Um, you have a relatively large announcement to make uh, regarding your political future. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm here to you know, officially announce to the citizens of Hazleton that I will not be seeking re-election uh, for a second term on Hazleton City Council. Now, I know this, this comes after uh, a lot of thinking about it. I know I talked to you in January. You were, you were on the, uh, the fence about it. Um, you know, what was kind of the reasons leading you not to run for another term? Um, I mean, there's uh, various reasons. And um, I mean, as some people know, some people don't know that um, last year I went to nursing school and graduated um, in September. And back when I was talking to you in January where I was still trying to debate it um, in I guess the beginning of February um, I decided to retire early from teaching mm -hmm. and to pursue a nursing career full-time mm -hmm. and um, I think that it I don't want to not be able to give my all to the city mm -hmm. and um, I think that's really where it comes in over about the last month or so. Right. When, I, when I decided to, to retire from teaching and to pursue nur nursing full time, I, I don't know where it's going to take me. And obviously everyone knows, you know, nursing mm -hmm. hours, uh, especially in the beginning, are definitely, you know, not the, right. the easiest to, to get around. And I don't want to only make, you know, one meeting every couple of months if, if that's the case. And I think that it's better for me to announce tonight that I'm not going to seek re-election and allow the citizens of Hazleton mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity to elect someone that they know is going to be able to serve them and to be there for each meeting. Right. Because I, I just wouldn't feel comfortable and I would, I would have to resign if, if I would run and win again. Uh, if I wasn't able to attend the meetings. And I don't think that's fair for the citizens uh, right. to not elect the person that they're putting in. So I just decided um, for, for those reasons that I thought it was in the best interest of the, of the city mm -hmm. um, and for the people that, that they get to elect someone that they know 
um, has the ability uh, to serve those four years and the, just the instability right. of, of what my job will be in, in the near future. Right, and, and I know, uh, and over the, the last uh, few years, being a Hazleton City Council person has not always been the easiest. There have been a lot of uh, big things that have, have hit the city, whether it be the budget, ordinances that were being passed. Um, you know, so leaving this position when there, there's still stuff to be done, uh, relatively hard decision, but you ha you're here till the end of December, number one. So seeing this budget that we're, we're facing now and then another budget coming in, um, you know, and I kind of want to segue to that, to the budget okay. with, you know, this was a very difficult budget uh, that was passed. Uh, you know, first of all, there, there were so many different amendments made to it. Um, it wasn't passed until January, right. uh, technically. You know, so this was a hard, hard thing, and there were so many parts to it. Whether council was adding stuff, the mayor was adding stuff, moving stuff around. Uh, and I know I talked to you many times about it, and it was just mind blowing of what was trying to be done. Right. I mean, I, I just. I think that people need to be able to sit down and have a logical dis and rational discussion. Mm -hmm. And over the last few years um, since I've been on, it has, it has been anything but that. It has been whose ever idea it was, I mean, it, it was screaming and yelling for two years. And then, um, you know, Jack and Gene and Dave and, and Jeff were kind of the majority. And then they, they you know, They've gone from screaming and yelling and, and carrying on mm -hmm. um, to just a little bit of blaming, you know, every now and then with the mayor, and and nobody, you know, it's it's fault on both sides. I mean, I tried to do, you know, a variety of things, and and you know, either the mayor didn't want it, or or, mm -hmm. or Jack, or or Gene, or Dave, or you know, or, or even you know, back before. Um, you know, two years ago or three years ago, right. you know, the with the you know rental registration ordinance. I mean, that you know kind of you know fell by the wayside, and and I was told that you know it's balls in your court by the mayor to to pass it. Obviously, it's not being enforced. Mm -hmm. but, you know, I rewrote it, and you, you know, at the time, Chris Lesser was the attorney, and and we went back and forth for about six months writing this ordinance, and um, when we passed it, the mayor said, "Why don't you just pass mine?" And, and then he decides not to enforce it. You know, it, right. it's, I mean, just because you have an idea, I mean, it might be right for you, but it doesn't mean that, that mm -hmm. it's right for everyone. And um, there's a lot of that, that it's, this is my idea and that's it for the right. city. And I mean, this isn't Washington, Gary. This is, you know, a small community where, you know, all the council members should be there right. to make the best decisions for the citizens, and they might not always be the most popular. And, and I didn't get in into politics to make the popular decision, or, or to you know for for reasons for getting other people you know employment or, mm -hmm. or some kind of position on an authority or something. And and I've, my eyes have been opened a lot in the right. last three and a half years, um, and unfortunately, it hasn't been all you know very good to a lot of things that my eyes have been open to. I remember when uh, when you first ran for the seat, um, it was when I first started covering the city uh, four years ago, that was, you were the unknown person uh, yeah. Ru yeah. running, uh, going door to door, uh, talking with all these people, uh, e even to me when I was covering it, and, I, and I'm like, I had who this person is, uh, right. you know, until and to, and to we were able to background. Going door to door, and that campaign right. puts you probably in, in that seat, going and talking to the residents, not just going out and, and, and saying, at the polls, this is who I am, or, or, or you know, right. buying ads or doing whatever, talking to the community. So in, in that part, how, you know, how often have you been able to go out and back talk to the community and have them come and say, we don't like what's going on here, we don't like this? I mean, when when I do meet people, they you know they're fed up. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't been able to go you know door to door. And, right. I mean, especially I mean, with with going to school right. and, and, and things like that. I haven't been able to you know go to door door to door. I wouldn't you know have time to do everything um, mm -hmm. that that has been going on in my life because that 
That's a huge commitment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I decided to do that, I decided, you know, if I was going to run, I, I needed to talk to the people. And I mean, unfortunately, a lot of the things that I really wanted to accomplish, I, I didn't get to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't someone who was going to going to bring things up just to say I, I did this at mm -hmm. council. I mean, I tried to, to talk with either other members of council or the mayor. Okay, this is what I'd like to do and, and put it in the motion. And, you know, it would just be, you know, mostly negative, um, negative feedback. And that even happened, you know, mm -hmm. going back to when I first started. Right. And, you know, I mean, it, it would have been nice, mm -hmm. you know, to do those things. But, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, one person who just, you know, who wants to do it, it it's, it's kind of tough um, when you just have, you know, mm -hmm. these ideas that, that you're for. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Topic A only okay. on WYLN. Life has its twists and turns. It can take many different shapes, but a good retirement plan changes with your life. And as we talk about what you're putting away and how much you'll need to retire, what was uncertain becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Can I use this in my kitchen? What's your amperage? Get a multi-tester on your positive lead. If it's wired three-phase sequential and grounded right, it might work. You'll need these for the install. Shocked by customer service these days? Ambridge? Service Electric Cablevision has the ultimate entertainment experience. Let our friendly team hook you up with a new whole home six-tuner DVR. Record up to six shows at once, then access everything from any TV in your home. Service Electric Cablevision. It's all about you. Welcome to Fairway Chevrolet, Pennsylvania's number one truck dealer. From the longest lasting, most dependable full-size pickup, the tough all-new Silverado to the rugged 3500 Chevy dump truck, Fairway has your truck. Drive home in a brand new Chevy Silverado during Fairway Chevrolet's truck month, starting at $19,995 or $246 per month. Hey, no one beats a Fairway deal. Make no mistake about it, Fairway Chevrolet is Pennsylvania's number one truck dealer. I'm good. Athletes try talking themselves out of being hurt. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Working past the pain because they want to keep on playing. Are you okay? I'm good. Coordinated Health understands. As the number one sports medicine team in the region, we get these champions back in the game with pro-level care. Yeah, I'm good. Because we make you better together. Easter is just around the corner. Let Carmen's Bakery and Deli help you with all your family gatherings. Everything is made fresh and on the premises with the best quality ingredients. From their famous nut and poppy rolls to their homemade breads, pastries, and pies. Carmen's has everything you need for your holiday table. Made to order specialty cakes and deli trays too. Catering is also available. Carmen's will do all the work for you. Don't forget to order your Easter pie made from Jenny Allegretto's Old World Recipe. Happy Easter from Carmen's Bakery and Deli. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You'll meet Mary, who unfortunately had a bad experience with a chiropractor, but fortunately, she decided to give it another try, met Dr. John, and is now pain-free. Her story this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us. Welcome back, everyone, to Topic AM. Gary Pernan. I'm joined by Hazleton City Councilman Keith Bass. And Keith, uh, we are talking. You, you know, you've announced that you're not running uh, for re-election again. Um, so the election that's going on right now, you're, you're not involved in. Um, but I do want to ask you a couple questions about where you think the city is going uh, this ne th this year. You know, obviously okay. we, we've seen a lot with the budget. We've seen a lot with other things being going on in the city, the crime rate, right. uh, trying to get police on uh, more police on the street. You know, where do you see the city going this next year uh, while you're on on the council? Tough question. 
Um, we really don't have any money to do anything, Gary, um, the way that the budget is. Mm -hmm. uh, I would really like, I mean, this is probably going to lead into something else we've been talking about, on, you know, in the break is, is the streets. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one thing that I was really kind of pressing when I was, you know, running for mm -hmm. election is that we needed to, to keep the infrastructure. And um, no one has tried to put money into the streets. I've, mm -hmm. you know, tried to on multiple occasions, especially the first two years, to try to get money for the streets, and it never materialized. And um, you know, some things happened behind the scenes where I, I tried to get money for them, and mm -hmm. um, you know, the budget fell apart in, in certain areas, and uh, I was never able to do so. But if if we keep going um, down that road, the infrastructure is just going to fall mm -hmm. apart. Yes. Um, you know, the Broad Street Corridor uh, right. might look, you know, pretty good. I even had um, someone who, you know, isn't from Hazleton um, that I that I that I know occasionally and, and get to see mm -hmm. said that they they came through Hazleton and you know how nice it looked down on Broad Street. Right. And uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of good things happening, you know, downtown in the corridor. But then once you leave there, the infrastructure is just, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the streets, it's falling apart. And, you know, just patching potholes isn't going to fix it. Right. It, it. We have to budget money. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people for a long time um, in this city, and it's just not going back four mm -hmm. years, it's going back 15 years. Um, the idea and the way of thinking is, you know, we're not going to raise taxes ever. Right. You know, we're, we're ne never. We're, we'll, you know, raise salary of the police, raise salary of um, the fire department. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody gets increases, but we're not going to increase taxes. So what happens is, it's, you know, we go and float bonds. You know, they had a 5.6 million bond, mm -hmm. or, 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 um, or not bond, but, you know, borrowing, mm -hmm. um, which causes the taxes to rise anyway. Right. And, um, and, and that's the thing that, that people don't realize. I mean, to run the city, you're going to have to increase a little bit every year, or you end up in this position where you're always borrowing against the future. Right. And you can never get caught up that way. And, and, and that's some of the things that, you know, with the first two, you know, a couple of years ago, our balance, we ended up with like a $200,000 surplus. Mm -hmm. And I, mean, I don't want to be right this year, but I think there's going to be a huge deficit. And, um, you know, in the last budget, the, there was a lot of money um, from a fund that was used to balance the budget that was used last year. Right. Um, you know, just kind of flimsy kind of accounting to balance the budget. And just to say that there was no tax increase and, and things right. like that. And um, un, until people want to make those hard decisions, yes, you know, nobody wants to raise taxes. Mm -hmm. um, but the reality of it is you, you can't, you know, have contracts that increase in salary right. with the same tax base. Um, so I, I honestly don't know where it's going to go right. um, under the current, you know, way it's run with, with this majority on council. I think that eventually, um, if I had a guess, within a few years you're going to see another borrowing of millions of dollars. Uh, because that's if they can borrow it, because there's going to be that much of a deficit. Well, I, and, and along those lines, a conversation I was having a couple uh, weeks ago with somebody saying, you know, is the city going to go into bankruptcy similar to like West Hazleton did all those years ago and come out of the Act 47? I right. mean, West Hazleton came out and is now, you know, uh, sh striving. Uh, but here's the city where your yeah. tax base is not what it used to be mm -hmm. five or ten years ago with a lot of homes for sale. Right. And, you you know, a lot of empty uh, homes lining the streets of Hazleton and that income not coming back in. Right. Yeah, as far as Act 47 goes, I don't, I don't know if I'm completely correct on this, but when I, when I was talking to someone about that mm -hmm. uh, from the state, this is going back a few years, I think you have to max out on your taxes first. Okay. We're not even close. Um, before you, you know, you can do something right. like that. So uh, before the reassessment, mm -hmm. that would have that probably would have been something good to do, you know, about 10 years ago right. um, for the city because we were maxed out and they were borrowing money. 
Um, and it, the reassessment and, didn't help any. And, right, and, and no. it's still a big controversy of whether it should be redone or not right. because of how poorly uh, Hazleton made out with this, with it being reassessed. Right. I mean, and even if they would, would do it again, I mean, they're not going to because right. it cost millions of dollars. Um, the taxes would just increase. I mean, it, it would just right. be the assessments would drop, but the tax rate would increase uh, because you can't, you know, mm -hmm. drop the home rate and drop the taxes and, and think everything right. is going to work. Uh, so, you can't have both. Mm -hmm. um, so before, for a long time, for a long time, 30 years plus, I think it was, taxes were cat were maxed mm -hmm. um, because the reassessment wasn't done for four right. years or something. Um, but for Act 47, I think that you have to to get to the point where your taxes are maxed out, and that's we're a long way from that happening. And and you said it this year, looking uh, ahead, you know, where if the city does come out into a deficit, where do they turn? They, uh, yeah, they have where's to, it go? Yeah, they have to borrow money or they have to raise taxes. I mean, where else are they going to get money from? Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these one-year fixes that have been that have gone on for the last you know decade mm -hmm. of, of getting money from Hazleton Creek or getting money from you know squeezing money out of the the water authority right, or, or right. getting money from this place or that place, they're out. I mean, we're out. We don't have anything else to to get money from. Right. And my my whole point of this was any type of you know influx of cash from selling something if we were going to do that or or right. from some kind of payment from in the future should have been used to fix infrastructure and no one wanted to hear it. Uh, right. You know, one, one, with one the mayor's time. office. Right. These they wanted to to just say, okay, we're gonna fix the budget this year on these so we don't have to raise taxes. Right. Um, and we don't have a steady stream of, of revenue. With any of that money I thought should have been used I mean to fix the streets. I mean, you go through the potholes, you, you blow a tire, you know, you need an mm -hmm. alignment. I mean, a little bit of tax money can go right. a long way to fixing a lot of streets. Um, and then you don't have all those, you know, car issues right. that you have with, with your cars breaking because you're hitting potholes. I mean, I know people have blown tires out, oh, and, you know, and yeah. bent rims and, you know, have had to pay a lot of money for that. Now, so. you, you know, uh, real quick, in and, and less than a minute and we have to go to break, um, you know, the firefighters are still working without a contract in right. the city. A, a contract still couldn't be passed. Um, it hasn't been on the agenda in a while. Is that something that we can see come back on the agenda anytime soon? I, I honestly have no idea since it was voted down. Um, that has to either be worked out with the mayor or mm -hmm. because it was voted down, it goes to arbitration um, okay. with the fire with the firefighters. and. Um, you know, I don't know where that's where that would lead okay. um, to, but I guess it's possible that we can see it come back. But I don't know. Okay, and, and that's another thing that, that hinders the budget as well. Seeing right. what what would be worked out. All right, we're we'll going to take a quick break when we come back. The closing uh, arguments here with Keys Bass. We'll be back in just a minute. I'm Paul Esposito Jr. from Victoria's Candies. My family has been serving the Hazleton and surrounding area since 1934. Our secret family recipes and time-tested techniques of making fine candy have made Victoria's Candies your choice for nearly four generations. We specialize in Easter baskets and hollow-filled eggs, and we make our own chocolate molds, like the Easter Bunny, the Last Supper, the Cross, an iPod, a cell phone, or a guitar, just to name a few. Shop where the Easter Bunny shops, Victoria's Candies. inspire you and let relaxed sophistication fill the air and the walls around it find beautiful cabinetry finishes and details that capture your personal style craft made it becomes you call click or visit your local craft made dealer today Visit the Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau website at tournapa.com for the listings of the many events you will find in Luzerne County. From wine festivals, hill climbs, tomato and kielbasa festivals, you will find it all in Luzerne County. Luzerne County was named the best outdoors destination in Pennsylvania by the official Best in PA website. The Luzerne County Convention and Visitors Bureau will help you relax, relive history, and marvel at the area's stunning natural beauty. Luzerne County, you'll find it right here in Northeast PA. All Care Home Care. 
the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there. back everyone the topic a my guest is Keith Bass and Keith uh, we were talking before the break you know the, the outlook uh, for the city uh, you know f from where you're standing in your perspective you know there, there's not a lot out there that could be done um, you know we don't want to seem that we're saying race taxes race taxes race right. taxes. yeah yeah because nobody wants to right um, but I mean every option needs to get looked at and if there are no other options mm -hmm. that's the only option you have left Gary I mean there when you run out of options, that's right. the only option you do have to be able to generate revenue. And if, and if the real estate, and, and not the real estate, I mean, that's what, what would get raised if, you know, mm -hmm. the, the EIT tax, you know, the earned income tax, you know, isn't, isn't there, there's really nothing right. that, you, that you can do. And, and the city doesn't have a lot of assets left to do anything with. Right. I mean, you know, years back, uh, Bar Lou Barletta tried to sell the water company, but then they struck a deal to say, we know the water right. company's going to take over the garbage services and we're going to help the city right. out. You don't have a lot of those those um, assets left to do anything no. with. No, I mean, the only asset really, really that we have is the water authority. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I, I hope it doesn't get sold because that's something that I never wanted to see. Right. But it, if this road keeps going mm -hmm. if we keep going down this road as a city you know right. five ten years from now who knows you know what would happen and um, you know I'm not, I'm not you know ruling out a, a run right. later uh, later on just depends on where my career takes me uh, but I, I mean I don't I mean I, I grew up here I mean mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to see the city fall apart and you know from the inside right. out and um, I just think it's time for for some you know, I hope some people with some, some new ideas mm -hmm. um, for the city. Um, and, and I hope, you know, they don't get disillusioned by, by what goes on. Right. And, and I hope that they're able to move the city forward. Right. And, and I know that th there are a lot of people who have put their name on, on the ballot. They'll right. be running for council and mayor. Um, and I think that's just what the city needs. I mean, they need yeah. somebody to come up with an idea that no one has ever thought of before. Right. Uh, to move something forward. I know th th there were a lot of talks before the budget uh, was passed this year that we're going to look at some other issues. You know, maybe there are some other alternative things that, w that could be done, but uh, when the budget came and was passed, there wasn't a lot of anything else extra put in there. No, I mean, it, it seemed like there was a lot of talking going on and not a lot of action. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I wish that, that it was the other way around. Um, but I don't see that from, from this majority. I see a lot of talk. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see a lot of action. I've been trying to, to, to get what their ideas are you know, right. for a year and a half now. Uh, you know, right in the beginning, you know, Jack Mundy said he had all these ideas, and he never came up with one um, except to sell a stripping pit, a stripping pit mm -hmm. um, that you can't sell. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I know uh, the, where the city is right now, uh, budget wise looking down the road wise you know there are, are some scary things whether you talk to the mayor whether you talk mm -hmm. to council you talk to the administration uh, in City Hall a lot of questions yet on this ballot or on this budget excuse me mm -hmm. that they're still not 100 percent sure what's going to happen right I mean honestly I, I don't yeah, I mean as far as the budget goes sometimes I don't even know which budget you know should be the correct one you know that got mm -hmm. passed you know, if it was the one that got passed in January, or if it's right. the original one, um, I really never got a you know a straight answer as to as to which one should be the one that's being followed. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I got to cut you off there because okay. we're out of time. But Keith, thank you for coming okay. and talking with thank us. Thank you, Gary. And again, remember, everyone, mm -hmm. election day is May nineteenth. Make sure you go out and vote. Keith, thanks for joining us. He will thank not you. be on the ballot this year, but make sure you go out there and make an informed decision. That's topic A for this week. We'll see you next time on WYLN.